Hello Scorpios. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for taking time out to tune in. This is your collective energy reading for March 2020. <music> All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you, whoa, all righty. If you um, have Scorpio and Venus together in the same house, you can use this as a relationship. So situation, obstacle, action, outcome, and apparently these three extras. <laughs> all right. So threes are about groups of people here. So my Scorpios, this could be about you and two friends. This could be about you and two siblings, you and your parents, you and your kids or whatever. So obviously a group Scorpio with the three of, of cups here, but this is a good card. It, this is about friendship. It's about having a good time. Um, reveling in the happiness of it all I mean this is it's a good thing all right it just it is and well it's cups or water signs so it's good but let's look at your obstacle is the nine of cups what the hell all the cups and your action is the two of cups okay Okay, <laughs> Scorpio, what's going on? So the Ten of Cups, it's either true fulfillment or it's a complete desire for happiness. And with it being in the obstacle, it, you know, it feels like this could be a desire for happiness, which could be what is bringing you to drawing you back here to a possible reunion situation or um, taking you back to your roots uh, is what I'm hearing, where you need to go to find that complete sort of connection to get you through this. You're needing this connection here. You are needing the to be around your family, to be around your kids. I'm hearing commod. Com oh my God, I can't even say it. Com you need your friends. <laughs> I'm gonna try to say it again. If you know what I was saying, you can type it below. But you need that that banter, that good time. You need the people that don't take your shit and, and you just need them around you. You need that fulfillment and this desire for this fulfillment is like sort of, I'm seeing like a dark place making, maybe perhaps drawing you into some sort of depression here. So I am worried about that. I'm being shown that. But Scorpio, your family's here for you because here they are flanking this obstacle. Um, it's like all you have to do is wish for them and they're going to be there. You can call them. You can Snapchat. You can video chat. It doesn't matter they're, they, if how many miles are between you. You can be there with them. You can, if you don't have a phone, you can... Close your eyes and imagine your good times. Remember your good times with them. So I feel like that's very strong to say because I felt someone stepping back into a shadow. And Scorpio, you know that this is all about the Phoenix Scorpio on this channel. We do not want any um, stepping into any shadows here. So cool your jets. But it does feel like this whole sort of these relationships, this desire for harmony and to get the relationships back into harmony. So you might have to tuck your little scorpion tail, 
down around behind you and then go in with an open heart and an open mind of allowing yourself to hear what other people have to say allowing yourself to digest it allowing yourself to put yourself in their shoes and them as well as you if you're needing someone else to put themselves in your shoes you can't lash out at them it's talking calm cool collected with this heart because this is what you need you need this back you this is what you need right now what the fuck it was this is exactly what i just said like so we're done <laughs> this is exactly what i just said the strength card is calm cool and collective it's not about going in and pinning the lion down possibly a um leo involved here the strength card is the leo card and the rider white smith it isn't about pinning some the lion down it's about gently approaching the lion and easing its mouth open okay she's not wrestling the lion this is a soft gentle subtle approach come on camera you can do it get back into focus all right this is about kindness and caring whether you're allowing somebody to be kind to you or you're allowing yourself to be kind to yourself or if you're taking that step back, putting down your little scorpion tail and being kind to them. So let's see what these extra three cards are. We have another two. So yeah, this is about um, some sort of family situation here or uh, re an important relationship. So we have the page of pinnacle. So he, you know, he's a bearer of news. He's he's kind of like looking into a crystal ball. So reminding you to really listen to your instincts here. Then we have the four of swords and this is about really taking your time step by step, not overextending yourself. And then we have the two of swords and this is just allowing a balance to happen. It's a funny thing how if you just let things fall into place, they will. True story follow my Instagram. <laughs> uh, but you really can just allow simple kindness towards these people, this group of people with a three and a two. I feel like it's a larger group of people, but it's possibly just stronger that you're wanting to create a relationship with, or you're wanting your relationship to get stronger with them. You just, you honestly just have to go in with love in your heart, which is a Phoenix Scorpio thing that I know Phoenix Scorpios can do because y'all badass like that. But this is something that's definitely you're going to have to take time at. There's no rushing. You're just going to have to allow this sort of balance to come in that can bring you this sort of bonding, harmonious place of well-being that you are desiring so much it's a lot of emotions to go through Scorpio I don't envy you you know this March is your sister sign the Pisces have already kicked in at the end of February we're still in this retrograde with the Mercury and um, that comes out on the 9th, but then we got the shadow period after, and there's just all this crazy energy around, and it feels like it just really has your phoenix feathers all ruffled up. Um, literally seeing Fox the Phoenix from Harry Potter with ruffled feathers. <laughs> just remember, he gets the ruffled feathers, and he's old and really ruddy looking before he falls into flame and he's reborn. So allow yourself to fall into the flame and be reborn. Allow this harmony back into your life. It's time for it. Scorpios, thank you for tuning in. I truly appreciate you. Please be sure to comment your sign below. Really, really helps my channel. I'm sending love and light to you. 
and wishing you a quick rebirth for the month of March and hope you don't have to go through too much by yourself for too long. Let other people in. It's okay.